job, guys. Thank you. Well, welcome, welcome to our 2017 St. Patrick's Day performance. Just a little bit late. We are in New England, so you can expect 14 inches of snow in March, right? I'm telling you, last year we were in t-shirts. So we welcome you here. We have um, our sixth grade to entertain you today. We're going to have some wonderful um, performances. You're going to have some poetry, some music, some dancing. Um, our new band teacher and I are going to do a number together. So it's going to be, uh, I hopefully, a great day. So let's give our sixth graders a nice welcome round of applause. Here is 25 interesting facts about St. Patty's Day by Sierra. One, there are 30, 34.7 million U.S. residents with Irish ancestry. This number is more than seven times the population of Ireland itself. Corned beef and cabbage is a traditional St. Patrick's Day dish. In 2009, roughly 26.1 billion pounds of beef and two point Three billion pounds of cabbage were produced in the United States. Irish soda bread gets its name and distinctive character from the use of baking soda rather than yeast as a leavening agent. Lime green chrysanthemums are often requested for St. Patrick's Day parades and celebrations. The first St. Patrick's Day Parade took place in the United States on March 17, 1762, when Irish soldiers serving in the English military marched through New York City. More than 100 St. Patrick's Day Parades are held across the United States. New York City and Boston are home to the largest celebrations. At the annual New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade, participants march up to Fifth Avenue from 44th Street to 86th Street. Each year, between 150,000 and 250,000 marchers take place in the parade, which does not allow automobiles or floats. Now here is a special duet from Mr. Wiseman and Ms. Hoster. Well, thank you, thank you for being here again. I don't typically participate in this, but I thought I would today so I can introduce you to our new band teacher, Mr. Wiseman. He comes to us via California where he served in the Air Force for 14 years. 14 years in the Air Force. And of course, he was in the band. So you know he's very talented. They only let in the best. So we're here today to wish you an old Irish blessing. Oh, 
face the rains fall soft upon your fields and until we meet again may God may God may God hold you in the palm of his hand may God hold you in the palm of his hand thank you everyone Here's some more interesting facts about St. Patty's Day by Sarah J. Push. There are seven places in the United States named after the shamrock. The floral emblem of, the, uh, of Ireland including Mount Gay Shamrock, West Virginia, Shamrock, Texas, Shamrock Lakes, Indiana, and Shamrock, Oklahoma. Sixteen U.S. places share the name of Ireland's capital, Dublin. With 44,541 residents, Dublin, California is the largest of the nice, followed by Dublin, Ohio with 39,310. Other towns with the luck of the Irish include Emerald Isle, North Carolina, and Irish Town, Illinois. There are 34.7 million U.S. residents with Irish ancestry. These, this number is more than seven times the population of Ireland itself. Irish is the nation's second most frequent reported ancestry, ranking behind German. Across the country, 11% of residents lead to claim Irish ancestry. That number more than doubles to 23% in the state of Massachusetts. There are seven places in the United States named after the, oh my gosh. <laughs> Here is Justina Haas Marlowe and Sarahi Rodriguez reciting an Irish poem. Luck of the preneur. You create your own luck. The harder you work, the luckier you get. A matter of believing you do, luck or green is possible every day. When you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneurs know that luck isn't given, it's created. We love green. We love the adventure and risk which go along with finding the pot of gold. We believe in the magic of our projects and dreams. We celebrate our success with friends and we'll continue the quest to find the end of our rainbow. Here's some more interesting facts about St. Patty's Day by Jocelyn Rigo. Irish is the most common ancestry in 54 U.S. counties, of which 44 are in the Northeast, Middlesex County, Massachusetts, pops the list with 348,978 Irish Americans, followed by Norfolk County, MA, which has 203,285. Irish ranks among the top five ancestries in every state except Hawaii and New Mexico. It is the leading ancestry group in Delaware, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire. There are approximately 144,588 current U.S. residents who were born in Ireland. The first St. Patrick's Day celebration took place in America in Boston, Massachusetts in 1737. Furthermore, the shamrock is not the symbol of Ireland. That honor goes to the harp. A popular icon of the holiday, the shamrock was used by St. Patrick to teach the Holy Trinity. The average amount American St. Patrick's Day revealers will spend this holiday is $36.52 per person, totaling a combination of $4.6 billion, according to a report by the National Retail Federation.
Here is the Irish drum line by Jacob Croto, Damien Sargent, and Ryan Kelly. Interesting facts about St. Patty's Day by Victoria Sisko. If by chance you, you one did happen to find a mystical pot at the end of a rainbow this St. Patrick's Day and it contained 1,000 gold coin, coins weighing one ounce each, Wallet Hub estimated a total current worth at $1.26 million. Although he made his mark by introducing Christianity to Ireland in the year of 432, Patrick wasn't Irish himself. He was born to Roman parents in Scotland or Wales in the late 4th century. In Irish folklore, St. Patrick gets credit for driving all the snakes out of Ireland. Modern scientists suggest that the job might not have been too hard. According to fossil record, Ireland has never been home to any snakes. Through the Ice Age, Ireland was too cold to host any reptiles, and the surrounding seas have staved over, uh, off serpentine invaders ever since. Modern schoolers think the snakes St. Patrick drove away were most likely metaphorical. Corned beef and cabbage is a traditional St. Patrick's Day staple. It doesn't have anything to do with grain corn. Instead, it's a nod to the large grains of salt that were historically used to cure meats, which were also known as corns. Don't be fooled by any holiday de decorations showing lady leprechauns. In traditional Irish folk tales, there are no female leprechauns, only Natalie attired little guys. <laughs> you can't attend a St. Patrick's Day event without hearing a cry of Aaron Gobra, which means roughly Ireland forever. Now here is a traditional Irish step dance by Claire Hill and Riley Von Holt.
Summer Berenger and McKenna Matzak singing Oh Danny Boy. big shout out to some of the girls that helped to decorate today. Um, please come forward. We have Macy Cunningham. Mary Hoff. Haley Belmain. And to Eric helping us with our curtains and setup. And another round of applause for all of our performers. And finally, our announcer. We have Grace Karbowski. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sixth grade. You were awesome. Great job. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Ms. Moore, for volunteering your students to put this on for us. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone. Please enjoy the rest of your meal and take all the time you need. We appreciate you being here as always. Thank you. All right, I'll clean up.